uh, I mean, that is just really a neat shot. It's gorgeous, actually. You can yeah. see uh, when, whenever we say isolated or scattered thunderstorms or wow. showers, I mean, there's a lot of rain falling. And that is on the north side of downtown Birmingham. I-65 getting some of the rain, but there's some of the sunshine getting through on the back side of the uh, cloud cover. So uh, maybe a little bit of a rainbow action kicking in. But it does cut off just east of the interchange there at uh, Caraway Boulevard as well as uh, 280. So it ought to be interesting to watch. But uh, maybe a flash of lightning, but they'll be up and gone pretty quick. 86 in Birmingham, 86 in Tuscaloosa, 87 now. For those of you in Tuscaloosa, or Aniston, I should say, no rain in East Alabama at this point. The only showers we have are that one in Birmingham and then the one which is in southern Pickens County. Now, this one just popped up. Let's put a track on it. Let's see where it's headed. And it's actually due east. Let's just uh, cancel that guy right there, and then we'll try again. And it's uh, obviously just not wanting to cooperate, but you get the idea. It is headed towards the east. It will be affecting the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport. Eventually, Irondale and up 20 and 59, if it can hold together. Here are the other showers that are tracking towards the south and east, and these are actually producing a little bit of lightning. A couple strokes there that's headed towards the south. Utah, you'll start to see some of this rain before all is said and done. The action is really to the north. That's where most of the severe storms are, and here locally, we're still in that very soupy atmosphere. 86 for Alabaster and a little warmer down towards Clanton where we're looking at lower 90s. But the cloud cover has helped to keep temperatures in check at least a little bit. Now our rain chances will be pretty small through the night tonight. And then the chance of rain will start to build back up as we get into tomorrow about lunch. And then tomorrow afternoon we'll see showers and a few thunderstorms in the mix here. It's not going to be a severe weather threat or potential, but certainly the chance of a thunderstorm producing gusty winds will be in line with our forecast. Friday morning we start out with clouds. Again, the chance of showers, a few thunderstorms developing as we get into the afternoon. Certainly not out of the question. I expect we'll see more coverage than what our models are showing us at this point. So our forecast for the next seven days. You'll see that rain chance goes down Saturday. That's good. 92. Father's Day, it'll be 86. About 40 percent of us will see rain. That carries into the first of next week. And the first day of summer, it arrives on Wednesday. Highs in the low 90s. It's going to look and feel like summer, but dry.